Hey, what's going on, guys? Zach SD here, coming at you guys with a new discussion video. I didn't want to bring this to you guys, but I did because I gotta let you guys know: beware on eBay, man. So this discussion video is gonna involve me with a transaction with a seller. Um, it was actually an auction that I won, but the seller decided he didn't receive the count of the amount of money that he wanted for the shoe, so he just ends up canceling it. So this happened about two weeks ago. I went ahead and was on eBay. Rolling through eBay, I was like, man, I want to find some Jordans. Let's find some Jordans. I found these Air Jordan Alpha 1s, um, North Carolina color. So I'll throw a picture up here. So those are the shoes, man. I really, really wanted those just for display purpose only. Um, they're in pretty decent condition. Uh, he had the buy now option for $110, but he started the bid at, I believe, $0.99. Cents. So just like, I'm like, okay, cool. So I have a chance to score these for, you know, pretty, pretty low. I kept an eye on them, kept them on my watch list, you know, placed bids here and there, you know, try to outbid the other bidders. And I had gone to the gym that morning and I was like, all right, cool. I have maybe like an hour or two left on this auction. I got to keep an eye on this. So as I'm working out, I got my phone on me, which is, I know you shouldn't be doing <laughs> in the gym, but I was in it anyways, because I really wanted this shoe. And um, so I, as it got to the nitty gritty, you know, I was like, awesome. You know, I'm still in the lead. I'm still in the lead. I got outbid once and then I, I hit back with another. And I ended up getting the shoe for $31. It was $31 plus like a $20 shipping, so it was 50 bucks total. It's like 51 and something. I'll go ahead and throw up the actual picture of the thing here. So that was the price I paid, and I was really, really excited to get that shoe for that price, especially with the Buy It Now option for $110. But what I did check for was his reviews. You know what I mean? I checked for his feedback. And his feedback seemed pretty good. He did have one transaction in the past that this happened to before where he decided to cancel the order because he didn't receive the amount of money he wanted for the shoe. And in the back of my mind, I was like, oh man, I really hope that doesn't happen to me. But I'm like, well, maybe he learned, you know, from getting negative feedback that he shouldn't be doing that. That wasn't the case. I paid for the shoes immediately. Like I ran out of the gym. I got my wallet. I paid for the shoes immediately. Went back to the, um, and by the time I went back to the gym, to, you know, to get back into the gym to finish my workout, I received an email. I received two emails. One saying, hey, look, you purchased for the shoe. Congratulations, you won. Oh, no. It was, hey, you won. Congratulations, you won. Pay for the shoe. I'm like, cool. Then I got received the noted, uh, hey, counsel, uh, seller canceled the order. And I was like, what? And then I received a third email confirming that I paid for it. And I was like, well, shit, I just paid for this. How is he going to cancel the order? And sure enough, it was because he didn't get the money he wanted out of the shoe, which I was really, really pissed off because I got a really, really good price on those. But I mean, I guess, hey, it was too good to be true. Um, so I left negative feedback on his account. You know, I was just like, hey, what the, you know, like, don't waste your time on this guy. Like, you know, canceled order, didn't get the money he wanted, blah, 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 blah. Um, so that was, that was it. You know what I mean? I, I, I wasn't able to get the shoes. I was really, really bummed about it. Uh, but I mean, hey, you know, you live and learn. Well, that's not the, that's not the end of it. So, you know, I'm researching, um, I'm researching on it, you know what I mean? Like, oh, well, you know, what's the next process here? Then how do I get my money back? And I've seen a lot of things where it's like, oh, if you pay through PayPal, it's supposed to be instant. It's supposed to be an instant thing where like, hey, he's supposed to refund you immediately. So I was like, okay, well, he hasn't done it. So, so I'm like, okay, I'll give him a few days, you know, whatever. Um, so I gave him a few days, still nothing. And then I'm like, well, okay, well, I'm like, well, let me see if I can follow up with anything, nothing. So then I waited almost a week and then I contacted eBay and I was like, hey, um, this guy canceled this order. Here's my confirmation number. I never received the shoes because he canceled it and I haven't got my money back. But because I called on the day where it was technically like the last shipping day where it's possible that he could have sent it, which we both know that he wasn't going to, um, I had to wait till the next day to open the claim. But this is where eBay comes in, man. And I love eBay, man. eBay had my back on this. Uh, literally the next business day I woke up, um, I checked my email and it was like, boom, refunded, plain and simple, account, uh, like the uh, case is closed. I was like, that was so simple. I literally called the day before I spoke to the lady for about 10 minutes, explained to her what happened. She understood. I got my money back the next morning. So just like, understand guys, if you guys are buying through uh, eBay, that, you know, they will have your back on some things. I mean, you know, you're gonna have to call customer support to make sure that they do cover you. But majority of the times these, the buyer has buyer protection and that's what they offer in case things like this happen. So, you know, just a heads up, man. Always check the feedback. Make sure, you know, if it's too good to be true, don't do it. Just don't do it. Stay away from it. Look for another, you know, look for another shoe, look for a different shoe, whatever. 
Um, so yeah, you know, just those two things, and just if it worst comes to worst, call customer service, man. eBay has really really good customer service. I recommend it. Um, they helped me out through that transaction, and yeah, man. So <sighs> it sucked. I really wanted those, you know, those Jordans because I really wanted to display it with a nice magazine I have. You know, I just kind of displayed it here on the wall and stuff like that, but it wasn't gonna happen. But I did find the actual same pair in a size 14, which I can't use, but I wasn't gonna wear them anyways, and they're dead stock. So I might grab those. So stay tuned if I do. Um, subscribe down here, guys, if you want to hear any more discussion videos or me just kind of like ranting off. And they're not really discussions because we're not really discussing anything, but it's me just talking to you guys about stories I have. <laughs> so subscribe down here, guys. Like the video if you guys like the video. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. If this has ever happened to you, or if you know that somebody had this, you know, if you were the seller and you canceled, why? Why did you cancel? I want to know why. You know what I mean? It was because the guy didn't have enough feedback. He, he thought you were gonna get scammed. What's going on, guys? But till next video, I'm out. <laughs>